Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. Welcome to the comparison between the solar frames and the ground control HD 60 frames. Both these frames are, as the ground controls say, made for 60 millimeter wheels max. And right here, I got the 27 centimeters version, 270 millimeters, both of these. Now, the ground control frame comes in 248, 258, 270, which is this one, and 284, S, M, L, and extra large. The solas, they come in 250 and 270. That's it, two frames only. This is my second set of solar frames because I had a pair of skates stolen about one year ago with a pair of solas. And on my first set of solas, I had aluminum age blocks, but usually they come with these age block. Plastic age block, which is, it has a very small, high groove. On the other hand, when you buy a pair of ground controls, they do come with two sets of edge blocks. They come with aluminum edge blocks and with plastic edge blocks. When you hold both of these frames, they feel completely different. I heard a lot of people saying that ground control was coping solar for making an aluminum frame, blah, blah, blah. It does make no sense. That's like saying that USD is coping rollerblade for making a plastic skate. These feel completely different. Let's start with the weight. The solar frame is 327 grams, while the ground control on the exact same size is 429. It's almost 25% heavier. When it comes to your wallet, <laughs> it is also going to leave your wallet a little bit heavier because it's about 35 euros cheaper and with two age blocks. On the other end, you have more age block options with the, with the solace. At the moment, I got the, the regular ones that come with the, with the frame. I also have some 3D printed made for flat age block and I have a 3D printed alumide, which is a, a mix of aluminum with plastic. And as I said previously, they also make an aluminum edge block. This is the first version of the solar frames, the lot one. And there is now a new model, which is the Joe Atkinson, which is a high low frame with 60 millimeter wheels in the middle, 64 on the outside, but there is also a second and the third version of the ground control HD frames. They also make it in 72 and in 80 millimeters. Even if the 80 millimeters don't really look like this, there's no removal age block and all that. So I would say there's a 60 and a 72. When you hold these frames, they feel completely different. Looking at both these frames from the top, you will see that one is empty on the top. This is the solar frame the light frame. The heavy frame, the ground control, well, there's two screws on top and these screws, they are the way for you to, to basically fix the age block, which is, I like the way it looks, it looks super clean, but it's super inconvenient when you wanna change the age block. You actually need to take the frame out of the boot in order to take that. Or you can actually make two holes on top of your boot. If you have a carbon boot, I don't know if you wanna do that, but you can actually make two holes on top of your boot and then you can unscrew it. Please have in mind, if you make those two holes, there's no space for the, um, the screw to come out. So the, the screw is going to push the the age block down. So when you do that, you're gonna need to go one, two, one, two, one, two. You're gonna need to do a little bit on one, a little bit on the other, a little bit on one, a little bit on the other. Otherwise, you will twist the age block. So it's a little bit of a disadvantage to compare 
to the solas, which yes, you see another hole, a screw here on the side, but then it's just very, very simple. Once you take this edge block, you take the screw, edge block is out, and that is basically it. You can cha change it for a 3D printed. While you're changing, there's a space <laughs> for your hand. <laughs> and that is it. Now, the way that I'm using this is by using a flat. This is how I use my solas most of the times. I actually did a mistake, so I don't have two of the same blocks because these blocks are kind of expensive, the 3D printed. So I thought I was buying two sets and I bought one of each, but it's the same groove and I don't really feel that much of a difference from the alumite to the to the regular nylon 3D printed one. So I got one of each. These are the ones made for flat and this is the plastic flat frame. So let's see how high are the edge blocks. So it's actually 43, 43 millimeters tall, the groove. When you see the groove here, this is 43 millimeters. On the ground controls, they are 42 millimeters. It's like one millimeter lower. So I wouldn't really say that difference of a one millimeter in height or in how tall the frame is, that it's going to feel a lot different. But something that makes both these frames feel completely different is the walls. This one, the ground control frame is six millimeter width. The, the, the walls are six, six millimeters width, while the solas, they are about three and a half millimeters. So these three and a half millimeters means that you have extra space for grinding when you do a sole grind or when you do a top side. This is actually one of the main strategies, marketing strategies for solar. They say that by having a slimmer frame, you have more space for grinding. I don't really see that as much as an advantage, but I do see having a slimmer frame as a huge advantage if I'm going to be using a skate such as the, the M12 with slim soles. When I want to skate on a ball, when I want to carve fast, when I don't want to, to touch with my sole plates and slide out, I also don't want that to happen with the frame. If I use a frame that it's very wide, even the new frame from from Symmetrix, the new frame from Adapt. It's an aluminum frame with the plastic. I don't have any of them, but I have the plastic uh, Symmetrix frame and it's very wide. So it's very easy to, when I lean, the, the, the plastic of the, the frame touches and I slide out. That won't happen with the solar frame. And if I have like a slim boot, like the M12, that basically never happens. So I can really trust on turning a lot, like leaning a lot without the boot touching. It's a bit different when it comes to set slides, but we're not talking about set slides here. With the ground controls, they're a little bit wider, meaning that it's easier for that to happen. When you feel that the most is when you do topside tricks. On the solas, you need to be super precise. If you don't, if you want to do a topside, if you don't lock right away as a topside, you're going to be rolling. That's it. The wheels will be rolling. On the ground controls, there will, there's a, a, a space here that these walls actually dig, especially if you are doing a top side on a skate park made of wood. Like the walls, the, the, the corner here digs against the wood and that just makes you get stuck. Now, none of these frames will slide super fast as a top side thing. Even if you skate on a... Um, even if you skate on a skate park and you do soul tricks and all that, it just feels like they're not as fast as if you're doing a, a soul trick on a, on a plastic frame. I don't think it's just me. I'm not gonna say they are slower. They just feel different. You just feel a lot more the grinding. So when you use these, you really are grinding. The same with the age block. If I'm gonna be using the age block, the the aluminium wage block, they actually do slide faster if you slide on metal, like a coping or something like that, and you really feel like the grinding, like I like the noise the most. That's one of the things that I like the most of skating one of these frames. They're, when you grind, you feel like that noise, it's it's like attitude. It's like, like a attitude thing, like 
I don't know if, if you feel the same way, that's how I feel. But at the same time, something that I really love about both these frames is how responsive they are. Now, it's amazing that the solar frames can be as responsive with such slim walls. This is very slim, it's like a very nicely made very nicely designed frame. We are very lucky to have a guy like Kyle Sola having this hobby <laughs> of, of designing skate products. It's not his main job, but whatever he does on inline skates or, or for the inline skate industry, it's amazing. And this is an amazing frame. Yes, it's my second frame, but I didn't hear of anyone breaking a solar frame. Maybe if anyone heard of a, a broken solar frame or a twisted, please let me know in the comments. On the other hand, for ground control, these frames look very different. If you look from the front, while this one is just a simple flat wall, these ones have a lot of curves here. There's parts that are slimmer, parts that are wider, and they both use 6000 series aluminum. But on the ground control, I heard of some people actually bending their frames. I did not bend my frames or anything like that, but probably I didn't skate them enough too. I do know that whoever bent their frames, ground control changed the frames, they gave them new ones, and they did said they were going to, to address that problem on a newer version. Probably the newer version is already on the market. One of the biggest problems that I had with the ground control that I never had with the Solus is both these skates, they only, they use one of those axles that it's a one side only, you go from one side to the other. That's it, it just, you take the axle, oops, and the axle actually goes straight to the frame and you're screwing it on the frame. Oops, what's happening here? It's actually the problem. The ground control axles don't have a deep enough Allen key groove. And that's why I got two wheels here. I got two wheels here because I cannot take them off. And now, I don't want to ruin it. I really don't want to ruin the frame. I'm scared of ruining the, the frame and I don't know yet how I'm going to take this off. I actually love these wheels. I love the frame. I wish it was a deeper axle because this, this never happened with the Solus. Maybe if you're getting a new pair of ground control frames, one of the first things that I would do, I would just get another set of axles and use those instead because I think they will fit. Let me try it. If they fit, go for it, because... Okay, they fit. Don't even waste your time by using the ground control axles. They suck. Other than that, I really, really love the frame. I did not have the problem of it bending with me. It's a lot heavier, but it works very good and by a little bit less money, you get two edge blocks. On the other hand, if you're someone who's going to skate mainly transition or even street, I've seen a lot of people skating street. This is just a different frame. I wouldn't say one is better, one is worse. They are different frames, meaning that both of these frames are good. What I want you to get from this video is this is not a copy of this. These are two completely different products for different people. Which one do I like the most? Hard to say. I like the ground control edge block better. I don't like the way it's fixed. As a product, I may like the, the solar frames better. So if I could mix them both, if I could fuse into one product, that would be my favorite frame on the market. But that frame might still be to come. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you didn't like. Let me know what you didn't like about this video. You can also join this channel. If you want to support what I'm doing here, there's a join button. You can become a member and it's another way to support this or you can become a patron. But now, more important than anything else, just like I finish every other video, don't ever forget why we all started skating and that, that it's because it's fun. Cheers and see you soon.